اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم کل ولی کل حجت ابن الحسن سلوات کا علیہ و علی آبائی فی حاص حصات و فی کل سات ولیم و حافظم و قائدم و ناصرا و دلیلم و آئینا حتی تسکنہو ارزکاتوا و تمتیہو فیہا طویلا اللہم صلی علی محمد و آل محمد السلام علیکم فرنس ٹوڈے وی آر گنا تاک اباؤٹ بی بی سکینہ علیہ السلام شی واس لی ینگس تارو اف امام حسین علیہ السلام She was filled with love and happiness. Everyone loved her so much because of her loving nature. Small children loved her company just as much as adults did. She never missed her prayers and at the age of two she started doing hijab. Just like any other four-year-old, just like any other four-year-old child, Bibi Sakina would ask her father to tell her stories before going to bed. Those stories were about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and her grandfather Imam Ali alayhi sallam and the bottles they fought. Her favorite uncle was Hasad Abbas alayhi sallam. Abbas also loved Sakina more than his own kids. Whatever Sakina would request, Hasad Abbas wouldn't rest until he makes sure Sakina gets it. On the 2nd of Muharram, Yazid's army started surrounding the camps of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And on the 7th of Muharram, Yazid's army took in charge of water and made sure that no water goes in the camps of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. On the 10th of Muharram, Bibi Sakina asked her uncle to Abbas to bring her water to the camps. But only Hazrat Abbas's alam came back to the camps. Sakina knew her uncle died, and since then she never asked for water. When Imam Hussein was killed, Sakina became an orphan and never smiled. She seemed to be lost in thoughts. And when the caravan was taken as captives of war and kept in the dungeons, Sakina used to look at the birds going to their nest at sunset. She used to ask her aunt Zainab, will Sakina ever get to go back to her home? One night she fell asleep on the cold floor of Zindan. When it was time f to fudge her, her mother asked, her mother came forward and asked Sakina to wake up. And she also offered her prayers, but Sakina didn't wake up. So Imam Sajjad came forward and checked her forehead. It was cold. He checked if she was breathing, but Sakina wasn't breathing at all. Imam Sajjad said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajayun. Imam Sajjad buried his sister Sakina in the same dungeon. Matameh Hussain. Matameh Hussain.